Hi, I'm Beverly Baldwin. I'm at Waterwise Botanicals Nursery and I'm potting up some plants. Chefs will go to the farmer's markets and they'll see what's available, see what's wonderful. So what I'm doing is going to the nursery and seeing what looks good, seeing what's stressed by the cold, what has more color. And when you notice the pot was almost full of soil and I'm setting the root balls on top of that and I'm doing more of a mounded arrangement. So I have my high element here, the sticks on fire, and then for a nice filler and medium element, repeating the colors and the sticks on fire is the paddle plant or Kalanchoe luciae. Spread it open and that'll lay flat a little bit better. In fact, I'm gonna do that with this one too. Just get a little bit of that off of there. The reds and greens, reds and greens, but a lot of different texture and shape in the leaves. Stacked crassula, which means that the leaves look like they're stacked on top of each other. This is a medusa form euphorbia. It's euphorbia flanagani. It's got the little bit of red on the leaf tips. And we can just put the whole thing, root ball and all, right on top of the soil in the pot. I'm not even bothering to plant that because you know what? The plant doesn't even need its roots. Aeonium sunburst and just cut it right off. You horrified? <laughs> you might as well just cut them back unless you want to look at that long ungainly trunk. Look, it has the look of a flower garden as though you just went out in the garden and picked a bouquet. But this is all foliage. Oh, I love this plant. This is a Thona capensis, a wonderful ground cover. It blooms nonstop. It is clump forming and a cascader, and it's fantastic in the garden as well. Haworthia attenuata, and it's colony forming. The common name is zebra plant. So twist gently without putting too much pressure on the leaves. Just pull that colony apart and tuck in wherever there's a gap. We're done.